Um, first of all, I want to say how proud I am of, uh, of this group of young men. Um, 19 wins, uh, and getting into the postseason in the NIT and what they've been able to accomplish over this last week under uh, less than ideal circumstances, obviously. Uh, the character, you know, what I told them in the locker room was when you get an opportunity to reveal your character and when adversity sets in, later on in life you're going to refer back to how you reacted to that adversity. And instead of running for the hills, these guys took it straight on and played with passion, played with great emotion, and played for each other. So as they get to their families and they do things in their post-college career, and that adversity sets in, they're going, to be, they're going to be prepared to take it head on. So we got a great group of young men. I was proud of how they handled things. As far as tonight's game goes, I give Miami credit. Uh, you know, they were able to take advantage of our lack of depth. Uh, foul trouble hurt us in the second half, and then we won zone. We just weren't able to weren't able to make shots. You know, I, I told the guys in the locker room, zone is typically one of our better offenses. Uh, we hadn't been hurt by that all season. We were tonight, uh, for whatever reason. It doesn't take away from you know, I, I thought they fall through the game plan, and I thought that their energy level was where it needed to be to win. Sometimes, as you saw by the one time that ball bounced around, and you know, the ball just dropped certain ways. Thanks, Coach. Go ahead. question. How big was it when Obis Ohan fouls out there and they wait through the second half and get played so well for the first Yeah, half? certainly hurts. You know, uh, he, he got two quick ones. He got, a, he got a driving reach call, and then he got a transition foul. And uh, the fourth foul, he's just so aggressive, I would have preferred him to probably let the guy go instead of pick up the fourth, but that's just not how he plays. That's why he's such a great player. And uh, so he got his fourth, and that really hurt us. And then Coop got a third foul as well. So, you know, two of our high minute guys, the guys we rely on defensively and offensively, picking up foul trouble really, really hurt us at that point in the game. Rodney and Weaver, what were the emotions in the, in the locker room after this game? I mean, it was, it was emotional. I'm, I'm just proud of this group of guys and the coaching staff. I mean, we've been through a lot of adversity. So, like we said, we always just play great team and brotherhood. So, I'm just proud of this group of guys. Yeah, very emotional. <clears throat> You know, uh, coming off a loss, but like Coop said, uh, I'm proud of the team. Uh, I wouldn't pick any other guys to go to battle with, you know, all year long. We've been through a lot uh, as far as injury, um, you know, with our last situation as far as coach. But uh, this team, we're a team that fights. So I'm just I'm happy to be a part of this team, and, you know, uh, I love, the, love those guys. Did you speak with the seniors? Did you guys speak to the team at all after the game? We speak to the team all the time. You know, uh, we talk. What's your message to the guys moving forward, the guys who return? What's, what, what do you tell them? Uh, just keep doing the things that we've always worked on. Play hard, uh, continue to work hard. Um, try to improve every day. Uh, that's the biggest thing. Is if, you try to, if you try to always improve and try to get better, then you'll be, be successful in the long run. Uh, just based on what Levi said, you know, for them to get better each day and try to add something to their game and you know, bring some loose to the team next year. Rodney, when they went on that, I think it was a 17-2 run, what do you think happened on, on your guys' end that, that uh, you couldn't stop them there? Uh, like Coach said in the zone, we was getting the shots that we wanted. It just wasn't falling there. I mean, they were getting out of transition and rebound the ball would have hurt us as well. And when they're, they're, they're big against the three-pointer, what are you thinking? I mean, the first three-pointer of his career. Yeah, I didn't know that. I mean, sometimes I fall that way sometimes. Was there any fatigue, mental, physical, from the from the past week for you too? Um, no, I think you know we've been playing a while with the numbers that we have. So uh, I think the style style of play we play and the way we practice and the prepared for the game. Like like you said, we were preparing for practice. The only thing fatigue was a was a factor. I mean, they just made shots. Coach, with your future up in the air and being a little uncertain. I called that last time out to tell the guys how proud I was of them and to thank them. Um, to thank them for their willingness to be coached, their willingness to follow through with the foundation that Coach Fran has provided this program during the postseason. And um, that was about it. What do you guys remember for that huddle? Did you guys, what do you guys take away from that moment? Just, um, you know, we're appreciative too that the coach was able to step up and, you know, we, we want to thank him because he, he gave it all he had. Uh, he prepared us um, mentally and physically for this game. Um, you know, just these past 
week. Uh, we want to thank Coach too, and we're appreciative of, uh, of him thanking us. Have you talked to Coach Trent? Uh, have you talked to Coach Trent for the last few days? No, the last few days. We, st you know, we we've, we've been in contact after the game the other night, but not in the last few days. What's the next step for you? Um, you know, uh, get back and kind of evaluate things, make sure that you know we're going forward in the right direction um, with our program here. Uh, I think you know, there'll be some opportunities. Uh, I think and, uh, you know, find out what our where our staff is and what we need to put in place for them as well. And um, you know, the thing I told our guys when afterwards, I said today needs to be about when you talk to people. It needs to be about thanking these guys right here, the underclass. We need to thank them. They need to acknowledge the uncertainty of the future, and they need to understand that they've got to work to prepare for the future. And that's how I left it. Um, it was about the seniors, and that's how I left it with the young guys. Do uh, one or two more questions. Anything left? All right, thanks, guys. I know some of you were asking about.